Look at this. Look at this. Check it out. Um, no, I never interacted or followed him. Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently the chat is saying DJ has deleted his Instagram. That's hilarious. All right, so I came across this. Uh, it seems more like an opinionated piece, but uh, yeah, at least something to discuss. I don't know if this will happen or not. Uh, I, 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 for one, think that if a Keldon Johnson deal were to be made, it wouldn't be made at this point of the season. I think the Spurs... Because I think you can get the most out of if you were to trade Keldon, okay? First off, if you keep Keldon, that's fine because his contract is fine. You can have him coming off the bench. It's fine. It's okay. It's dandy. Who cares? It's all right. Um, you just need more defenders around him, and he got to take even a lesser role than what he's taking right now, and I think he could be a successful role player. With that being said, though, um, I think if you were to trade Keldon, I don't know if you do it at trade deadline, right? Like, I, I don't I don't know if that's a good move. I feel like you would have more leverage after the season because Keldon would fit in with a team that kind of needs a little bit more oomph that's in the uh, playoff uh, contender category. But I've seen this where it says uh, the Knicks possibly could use someone like Keldon Johnson. Sam Quinn suggested that the Knicks could express interest in san antonio spurs forward kelton johnson in a trade deadline uh, primer he says like a possible possible wait what he seems like a possible nicks bench score uh solution especially since he's big enough to play forward unlike most of their targets uh quinn writes the spurs won't trade johnson for the sake of trading him exactly but the fact that he's fallen out of the starting lineup suggests that he's at least available for the right price um, I don't know. I think that's a pretty huge inference, especially when we're talking about the San Antonio Spurs, right? Like that's a big assumption that just because you go to the bench, that means you're available for trades. Uh, but I do think, however, with this season and how these games have gone, and if you're just watching the flow of, of some of these games, he, he often kills momentum, not saying like he's a bad player. He is a good player. It's just that right now with the team that we have, he's not necessarily fitting. You're going to have to build um a better squad near him so he you know his his mistakes aren't as uh apparent because when he makes a mistake it's pretty bad right <laughs> it's it's pretty bad because he can't play defense he can't make up for it in other ways he is strictly running straight into the paint and he's been an inconsistent three-point shooter it, it's just a bad combination no in-between game little to no like I don't want to say he doesn't have basketball IQ because I don't think that's true, but he has a lot of tunnel vision, right? So he doesn't really get a lot of his teammates involved like that. Um, a lot of his assists are kind of uh, bailouts or dump offs. It's, it's, it's yeah, um, but, but that's besides the point. But I do think that if the Spurs were to uh, do something, it's going to be later on. I don't see that happening right off the bat. Um, funny enough, though, this is actually something that was brought up to me from uh, Swish Heel. He brought this up a long time ago, or at least several weeks ago, uh, about the Knicks. And he suggested this as a possible trade. But let me see if I can find it. Uh, I thought I reposted it. There's no way I didn't repost this. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way I wouldn't have reposted that. I thought it was interesting. Here, let's go directly to his page. Let's go directly to his page. Let's see. Does he? No, he doesn't have it on here either. I have no idea. Okay, I know someone else who has it. Because they have very similar ideas about this. Where is it? Oh my goodness, Mr. A, my guy. I didn't realize how often you post, here it is. All right, so this was a suggestion. Funny enough, uh, I guess great minds think alike because this is the exact same trade that uh, Swiss Shield sent me thinking that, hey, this could be a possible uh, solution or, or something that the Spurs could do. And this would be an absolute W, like don't get me wrong. I think the Spurs have already showed interest in Evan, so that makes makes sense in and of itself. Got a lot of potential there uh, as far as a shooter and Grimes, so it was really good. And I, one thing I would really be paying attention to is that first round pick. If you can get a first round pick 
uh for for Keldon that would be huge I don't see why you wouldn't be able to um but hey who knows says time for Keldon to go um possibly but I think patience is a virtue in this in this uh regard I I don't think that he'll be traded by deadline I could be wrong if I am wrong I'm cool I'm chilling but I just feel like you're gonna have to wait if, if you do anything with Keldon if the Spurs do anything right now Right off the bat, one thing that I absolutely want to happen, Osman, Doug, get him out of here. Go. That's what I want. Has nothing to do with are they good players or are they bad players. It's just right now, I don't think they necessarily fit. And with the you know expiring contracts as far as Osman, it's just you would get the most out of it if you just move right now. I don't I don't see them as veterans for the future. I, I just to help with the future. I, I just don't see it. Um, unfortunately, I know Doug McDermott has came, has came out and said, hey, I would love to stay with San Antonio. I want to be here forever. Um, but, you know, I, I don't I don't know what to say, you know. And also, uh, I, I just praise the Spurs for that because anybody that says that the franchise is bad or the front office is bad, it's like, no, dude, people love playing for San Antonio. The only ones that don't, the only ones that have an issue, it's some weird thing they got going on, some some weird ego trip they have you know going on with with them so who knows but yeah i think i think that this would be a good deal um that, like i said this was something that i saw from swish first um but uh mr mr a here he uh he posted himself let me see yeah there it is swish you'll see yeah he was saying great minds i just bought or i just brought this exact trade up like two weeks ago oh, okay i thought it was longer than that but yeah, hey, that's what they're thinking about. At least this is what fans are thinking about. Switch is a great basketball mind, okay? So, Clan, who would you gonna trade? Uh, I don't, I don't care, guys. Let's see. Clan Spurs not trading nobody unless it's Doug, Chetty, or Graham. That's what I think, honestly. Yeah, I, I think right now that's that's what's gonna happen. I think right now that's what's going to happen. If if it's if it's anything involving Keldon, that's a pretty big trade, and I think that you're going to try to get as much out of it as you possibly can. I don't see. I mean, unless something's just perfect, something's just great on the table. I don't see Keldon getting moved at all um, right now. If it were to happen, maybe after the season, if you were to try to get Trey Young, then you're probably going to have to involve Keldon, right? So like, yeah, I would hang on to it. I would hang on to it and just see what we can get. I don't think we're going to get a big return unless it's really worth our while. People people think highly of Keldon, man. I mean, I don't know how other, you know, executives view Keldon necessarily, but I just know as far as anybody outside of San Antonio, it's the same thing it was with uh, DeJounte. Like, they think highly of him. Um... I mean, him being in the Olympics, that helped as well, I think. Bro, why won't the Spurs go all out for Trey right now? Uh, this is not the time to do that. If you're going to go all out for Trey, uh, you probably need to wait a little bit. Allow him to get more frustrated. You don't want to have to, like, if you do it right now, you basically like, okay, here, here's all your picks back. And here's a player, a couple players. All right, we're rolling. That's great and dandy, but you probably, if you were to get Trey Young, you probably could wait and allow Trey Young to eventually ask for a trade to San Antonio. That's the best case scenario. If he's asking for a trade to San Antonio, you have more leverage. Um, so you can just kind of wait it out. Keldon, Doug McDermott, 2025 first round pick, 2025 Atlanta first round pick, 2027 Atlanta first round pick. Man, I really want that Atlanta 2025. I'm not going to lie to you. Giving them our 2025, I guess for Trey Young, if the whole idea is next season, like if if we're able to convey this um, Toronto Raptors pick and have our own pick in 2024, I might take that. I might take that. Uh, giving away our 2025 i might take it. maybe maybe that's a tough one though i'm gonna try to keep our picks as much like as much as we can hawks will ask for a minimum of four to five first round picks we can see we can see you know sometimes it's one thing leads to 
to the other. You know, you make some type of deal, um, which, hey, we want this amount of picks. So like, all right, hold on. Trade one player, get that pick, and then like, all right, we're ready to package. So it might be, so it could be something like that, but it, it's not going to be anything to trade deadline, I don't think. I think the Spurs will make those small things, but which are huge, by the way, mind you. Getting rid of Doug McDermott and Chetty Osborne, while it seems small, that is a big deal. Because that will allow uh, younger players to be able to get a shot. I would love for City Sissoko to finally come up and be able to get actual NBA minutes in the second half of the season. That would be great. But good stuff. Uh, Rob Dillingham. I like Rob Dillingham a lot. Co Cody Williams. I've been looking into him. He's really good. Sissoko ain't ready. Maybe next year. I, I'm really just not worried about like I, I don't know I, I feel like if if you trade away Doug McDermott and I mean, it won't hurt that's all I'm saying Sissoko playing getting playing time it won't hurt anything and I think that his defense has improved even more so not getting as much foul trouble as he was before uh, I, I think I think he could possibly stay on the court if he's out there um, yeah yes clan Cody Williams is the truth he's got a real shot to be better than his brother mm. yeah that's what um that's actually what switch told me he's a big fan of him uh let's see hopefully malachi can go with doug and chetty my cat's food just dispensed and she just pounced in here good stuff yep 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 just wanted to bring that to your attention with the whole Keldon thing though um don't think it'll happen but i don't know maybe the knicks are interested 